Hi guys, welcome to another valuable fantastic video session. We are looking at Python based uh, test automation tools and uh, today we are going to look at Spinter which is a web UI automation tool based on Python scripting. So let's start with it. So before starting as usual we should glance to the official website that is pinter.readthedocs.ioen slash latest so this is the website spinter.readthedocs.io slash en slash latest so you can find about spinter a basic coding and also how to get started, how to install Spinter. Spinter can be easily installed by a pip installation. It's pip installs Spinter. So Splinter can be installed using a pip installation. You just have to go to Google. Just have to go to command prompt. Then after that, just invoke command prompt from in your laptop or PC and you have to have Python 2.7 version. I have Python 2.7.1 for the latest version installed in your PC. So pip comes, pip package comes with Python 2.7.14. So once you install Python, you get pip command. So you can simply type pip, and you can see this commands get executed. The available commands for pip. So that means your pip is pip installation python installation package has been successfully installed so then what you have to do is type pip and install splinter so i have successfully installed splinter so if you type this command it will successfully install it automatically the relative dependencies of splinter so Splinter is based on web driver, Python imp implementation. So Splinter uses web driver and it is wrapped in Splinter. So let's get into Splinter automation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke my Eclipse. I have Eclipse Oxygen. So I'm going to go for my Python workspace. So you have to go to marketplace in uh, Eclipse and install PyDev, which is the Python ID for Eclipse. So I have a lot of projects created. I did videos for Vinny Auto, then also Automa. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at. We are going to look at Spinter test. So once Spinter is installed, it will install in your scripts folder. So you can easily create a new PyDev project and make give a name. Check the the Spinter test now. You have to check the when you are creating a project. Please check the interpreter has been selected. So it's by default my needs 2.7 interpreter 2.7.14. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start scripting. Go to new, select the project that you have created. Go to new file. Then you say automated. Web test dot ey because it's a python script so what you have to do is simply start scripting so i have created a script already spin dot py so i'll just copy paste this and i'll go through it so 
from Splint Splinter import browser that is where from Splinter library import the browser module and import the time module okay but that is if you need to put some delays but you don't need so you can I will just remove this off so with web browser you can uh, you can have Chrome IE but you should have the Chrome drive and IE driver installed so but by default Splinter install Firefox driver so with browser Firefox as browser I will give the URL it's google.lk and browser.visit I will plus the URL which I have given so it will navigate to the google.lk page and browser.fill is where you type a word to an input box so Q is the name so you can give the name of the input box you can give the ID then the parameter second parameter is the key the search word that you are going to put or the value that you are going to put into that input box then I declare a button browser.find by name button K that is the search button in the google.lk so after that what I'm doing is I'm going to click that button so I'll bring up google.lk also so you can see I mean I inspect this element here you go name is Q so find the button by btnk so how btnk I'll show you where btnk is this is btnk and here it is name equals btnk so find by name you can change this to find by find underscore by underscore you can change to any other word find by CSS find by ID find my na name tag text value so what I'm going to do is find by name then it is then I click on welcome to python.org that is the the first when I select python there you go welcome to python.org so I have to navigate to that link so I create a link object browser that find by text welcome to python.org and I click on it so this is a simple script let's see whether it gets executed save so guys uh, there is an issue this is because Sprinter uses web driver and web driver for net, uh, Firefox it uses gecko driver so I had to map the my path variable for the gecko driver since my environment path is not mapped so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to systems and I'm going to go for environment okay. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my gecko driver path okay so let's go to the down what I'll do is I'll get the gecko driver path and I'll add this new add okay 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 now I have added it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart my eclipse go back to Eclipse so let's go back to the project that we have created this is our Python script so let's try to run this so you can see Firefox will pop up then it will goes to google.lk, the python search, the account to python and goes to python and it automatically closes so we don't have to worry about closing the driver, 
it automatically handles it so you can see the commands has been lowered down it's very lightweight it's very handy simple and you can easily script through Sprinter Python version of web UI automation automation used which is users web driver so if you like this video please put a like in LinkedIn post welcome I will come with another fabulous tools Python tools Python integrations for you all to learn understand and get more experience thanks guys